Oh, that wasn't cool. Hello guys, and welcome to another AMS2 video. I know I've been bombering around with this uh, AMS2 update, but it's, it's really quite good update, and I just can't get over it. It's really that good. And today, we're going to say a last hurrah to the one of the greatest GT series that ever appeared, which is the GTEs. And we did another Porsche. <laughs> I know I've been driving Porsches all around, but they are quite good. And this one in specific has the best sounding engine of them all. It's a flat six, naturally aspirated, producing around 520 horsepower. But goddamn, when you when it screams, it screams, and uh, it's uh, sad to see that this this t type of car is not racing anymore in IRL, um, due to the fact that it's got too costly and the manufacturers weren't uh, weren't supported it anymore. So in the last row, we're going to do a thirty-five lap race, another like slash mini enduro, to sum up this this category and um we're going to play with the new lmd ages as well which is to show how it's going to be in the race also we are doing at watkins clan without the chicane <laughs> and it's going to be awesome 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 no mandatory pit stop no anything just straight up fight and race so, uh, let's go on with it. 20th place, 35 laps. The track temp is 13. The air temp is 4 Celsius. And uh, we are here with a bunch of names, actually. Very good names to start off. This race, I did actually, I did a race with these GTE cars uh, not too long, not too long ago, but Unfortunately, the footage got deleted. And also, we have to do a pit stop in this race. Oh, wow. <laughs> we actually have to do a pit stop no matter what we do. And uh, let's do our strategy. Uh, tires. No need to no tires. No, ti uh, no tires. And uh, we actually have to do a pit stop because it won't last the full distance. I'm going to put like four, 42 liters. Or I actually need to save fuel. I'm going to push hard though, but regardless, let's, uh, let's put fuel just in case if anyone pits. Also, it's a very cold track here at Walkings. And uh, why I still have tires? I say no tires. Let's put 10 liters for 10 laps. I don't mind. And uh, let's save. Uh, this GTE cars, they actually were more, po they are more powerful than uh, GT3s, but uh, they they don't have ABS, so tr actually braking is quite tricky. So let's go on with it. In terms of setup, it's fine. I really like how the car drives. And I will see you at the end of the race, like I always do, in this type of endurance races. So, see you on then. Stay calm, focus.
Side tires are cold. was at 145.18 as your quickest lap in this session. Miller is leading the race. Come on. 
keep pressing him and force that mistake. Nice front. Time was 145.58.
guy in front is. Fuck her. was at 144.78. Blue flag, you're being caught by the faster class cars. approaching.
Roma. Good stuff. Keep it coming. Sides are cold. The gap to Mason behind is now zero point two one. Exits. Sector 3 is 1.9 off the pace. to Mason behind is now 1.0 seconds. Tie attempts are good. The gap in front is now 1.0 seconds.
minor wear, blue flag, that's the car approaching, it's their class leader.
last one, mate. Marcos behind is increasing. It's now 3.0 seconds. Blue flag. It's a faster car approaching. Come on, let's put this hard work to good use. B6. That lap was a 144.44. Alright, Roman. Lap times are pretty consistent. Faster class car approaching. the car's bearing down on you. These guys are scrapping for position. The to Gibson ahead is now 4.1 seconds.
gap to Marcos. Behind is increasing. It's now 5.5. Side tyres are carrying minor wear. Well done, Roman. Nice move, mate. The leader, Thompson, is pitting. and cold. Don't wait too long, find that gap. There's a faster class car behind. Well done, good pass. As a car exits in the pits, heads up. Great stuff. Keep it coming, mate. You're now in the lead. Okay, pit stop requested.
We should have plenty of space on the exit. When we exit the pits, we should be in position 11. In front of Berg, the pit crew is ready. Fisher behind is pitting now. We're done. Go, go. His exit looks clear. Thank you. 
cap to Miller. Behind is now 0.9. Garrido is pitting. The car ahead's pitting now. left. That lap time was 144.58. Done, Roman. Great drive. That's a podium. Oh, fuck yeah, mate. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I had some really scary moments. Like, really scary. That one pass around the outside, around the carousel. That's why they don't do this track anymore. This configuration at least. They use the bus stop. Fucking hell mate. Fuck. I, I thought I was gonna die like fucking hell.
Jesus. But in the end, amazing racing. Jesus. Congratulations to the guy who won. Why everyone stopped there? Just weird. Holy cow. Congratulations to the guy who won McIntyre, I think. But Jesus freaking Christ. The pit stop was on damn perfect. Tires were absolutely great. Everyone just ran out of fuel. Did everyone just run out of fuel? I think they did. I think everyone ran out of fuel on the last lap. Like on the cooldown lap. Oh well. I still have 26 liters. But the pit stop was perfect. The braking was perfect. Everything was perfect for this result. Everything was perfect for to get this result. Jesus. We finished pool 14 overall, but second in class. Holy shite. This is what I call racing. That's what I call racing, man. Jesus. Also, the, the sun was starting to go up. But in the end, what? Crazy, crazy racing. I really loved it. Carter McIntyre that won the race. We were catching like madman. Still, one hour race. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, not, I'm not going to do an endurance today. Uh, extra idea. My best lap was still the, the best lap in class, but not for long. Adrian Garrido was battling for me. Like, this. like yeah, still some tense faster. Everyone was very close, very close together. Holy shite. <laughs> This track was fast, really fast. That's that's why they don't use, they use the chicane. They use the chicane now because it's, it's extremely fast. And down the carousel, doing how many f kilometers per hour? I don't know. Just was madness, 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 madness. Holy shit! Woo! Still, er, yeah, like the LMDH just run out of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't do a stop uh, as we had to do. And I think the LMDH just didn't no stop, which led them to run out of fuel in the end. So, okay, some did actually did a stop. Oh, the leader didn't get a stop. Oh wow, that's that's uh, that's the win right there. Just didn't have a stop in the other Porsche. I did a stop, which cost me the win. Well, it didn't cost me any win anyway, just uh, overall, it was a good battle. I didn't matter where I finished, I just finished P2, I'm glad this happened. And this GTEs, in this update, they feel absolutely amazing. They just genuinely feel good. And uh, if you want to learn more about these GTEs, there's plenty of videos online, you can check it out. And uh, they were great. Obviously, as everything in life, they, they got expensive. And now they are being substituted by GT3s, which are basically a race car for the road. You know, with more street parts, if you wish. But uh, nonetheless, these GTEs... Oh, the memories I have, those... You know, remember GTE for like... GTE was this was the um, was the answer to the GT1 class. You know, GT1 class got expensive, got substituted by GTE. Now GTE got expensive. Now they are being substituted by being substituted by GT3s, which is like kind of ironic, but. You know, I understand that uh, we'll, in the world we live in, just GTEs were not the purpose anymore.
But that was awesome racing. Awesome, awesome racing. The, um, the LMDHs were quite fast. <laughs> The, I had some touches and it should be like yeah it's a racing incident I was a little bit a little bit off on an aggressive side but oh wow just I went for it I was trying to get to the front very cleanly very very precisely but it was awesome racing awesome racing I loved it to bits Defending from the BMWs, though the BMWs were quite fast in a straight line. They were quite fast in a straight line. But the Porsche... The Porsche are much more mannerable. I love Porsches, the way they handle. It was my go-to car in Sims, and it is my go-to car in, in this sort of situation. I like the Porsches, I like the la lazy handling they have. And uh, overall, we're just great. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Another AMS2 video, I know. But I will try to get some other content going as well. Just because, you know, it's the new update for AMS2. They, they throw the LMDH, they throw the GT3s, and I had to do videos on it. And that that's how I work. <laughs> that's how YouTube works. Yeah, that's a new thing. Yeah. Uh, let's bring it on. And uh, the best lineup for Rick Tandy, not Nick Tandy, in uh, in the slightest, is better than the first place guy, but not by much. They they still like very close. To, oh, the even even behind that was better than that. Yeah, Pedro Duarte was faster. You know. There were the guys that were still faster than that time. But still. Traffic was a big thing. <laughs> and uh, it was, it was, I wasn't expected to the LMDH just to be so fast. But uh, it was a great race. It was unbelievable how they went. The pit stop was perfect. Perfect pit stop. Obviously, there wasn't no mandatory pit stop. So everyone could race until the end but how the fuel tanks work like yeah kinda went on on the downhill side where which was the leader I'm going to show you he's saving the replay uh, where's McIntyre McIntyre started 20, 20, 22nd. Wow, that's that's a good drive. No, it started P10. <laughs> so it started from the lead. Or it, no, it started from... Wait, what? It started P10 in class, yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's fair enough. You know, with no pit stop, actually. Uh, I started P29. Because they were slow off off the line i started p20 p17 very towards the back and uh i managed to be p2 but uh wow that's that's a good comeback that's a good drive from p10 to the lead and uh 35 laps on this track it just flew by just awesome racing awesome and uh thank you guys so much for watching and um Thank you for the support that you guys have gave me over the last few weeks. I know we have been kind of hyped up for this update, Le Mans exclusively, and the LMDHs and whatnot. Obviously, Le Mans, by the time I'm recording this, uh, it will only come next week, or even this week, actually. Uh, by the time I'm recording, I'm recording like nearly two weeks in advance. <laughs> so... By the time this comes out, probably I will get the DLCs and uh, and I'll be going to do some Le Mans content. Which obviously, it's very, very true to me doing this kind of so content on Le Mans. Because, you know, French. It's vive la France. So, <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are having a good one. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.